Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another exclusive. Before we get into the exclusive, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So we all saw the video of Megan Thee Stallion and Carisha kissing, okay? Um, they were at her midnight brunch thing and there was a bunch of celebrities. I got back that partisan Fonte, <laughs> he's not happy about that kiss. Okay, he doesn't want to feel like he's in competition with nobody, man or female. But, you know, Megan likes women too. Like I said in the other video, I think he should just finesse a, a threesome or whatnot. Maybe he's not attracted to Young Miami. Maybe he doesn't want one with her. Even though she is a pretty girl. But I got back that he is not happy about the kiss especially being on social media because people have videos is all over social media and he doesn't want to feel like he's in competition with nobody um man or female and he knows that megan does like women the thing is you know is he going to be able to tongue kiss a girl or is only megan allowed to do that because I got back that she did not really clear it with him. You know, she was, you know, drinking, having a good time. You know, she just performed. She did a good job. She looked good at the BT Awards. So, you know, she was pretty lit. Um, and she did tongue kiss party. There is a video of her tongue kissing him too. But the thing is, you know, I got back that he played it cool, you know, at the party. Um, he didn't really do too much. Okay, because he knows that people kind of view him, the general public, view him as aggressive or possessive because of that video that got leaked months ago of him like trying to break the bathroom door down. So he playing it cool, but he's not too happy with Megan and that little situation. Then on top of that, they were flirting on Twitter. They were flirting on Twitter and uh, saying that they would like to date each other. And Party wasn't happy about that either. But, you know, he's going to milk Megan, like how he tried to milk Cardi. And, you know, he talked about having her on a song like a week ago. Like, he just going to milk Cardi and Megan to see which one can benefit him more. And right now is Megan the Stallion, okay? Because she's the hottest out, okay? And speaking of Cardi, there's an audio going around that magically leaked, okay? Magically leaked about Cardi B talking about Nikki, saying how she was not worried about Nikki coming up. They were just trying to make it, blah, 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 her going on a rant, probably sending it to Jessica Hu. Um, and my whole thing is, Cardi knew the agenda, okay? She, she pretends like she didn't know, but she did. Because there was an article published last year on Billboard. I have the link for it. It will be in the description box of an executive admitting to telling Cardi the first time they had a meeting, you know, I don't know if this is when she signed her deal with Atlantic, but you guys can read the article. I already did a reading on it months ago where he states that he told Cardi to her face and a, bu and a bunch of executives that she was going to be Nikki's competition. So, you know, the whole narrative that she did not know that they were going to try to take Nikki out. Why are you having meetings talking about being somebody else's competition? That just sounds weird to me. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, that kind of debunks everything Cardi B is saying now. Okay? Now, it might not be when you were signed to KSR, um, but when you signed to Atlantic um, in 2017, when you had that song Bodak Yellow, you knew. Because why would he come out and admit to this? This is, on, this is a Billboard article. Also, Cupcake, I believe Miss Banks, I, I believe that's the rapper, and other people have came out, like Russ, and talked about things that Atlantic has done. Okay, try to pay them, not Russ, but Cupcake, 
to diss Nicki Minaj. So nobody believes that you do not know nothing, okay? And that you weren't worried about Nicki Minaj. Why do you follow Nicki Topics? Why was you on her page? There's a video of you on her page in 2017, okay? Scrolling, looking, stalking, okay? But wouldn't like the picture, but you was looking at it for hella long, so we all know you were worried about Nikki. So that gets debunked. There's evidence to prove it. Okay. And then once you get caught following certain pages or, you know, looking at certain things, then you try to unfollow, but there's screenshots, there's screen recordings. Okay. And you can't make up screen recordings is it is, or it isn't. So that is being debunked. Okay. Also, like I said before, Cardi was going to use use pregnancy, uh, Nikki's name for publicity. Also, Tasha K posted that she's getting ads on her um, pregnancy post. I don't understand why. So it just makes it look like a publicity stunt. I mean, you're performing at the BT Awards, pregnant to try to help the Migos. And the three blind mice are not going to excel right now, okay? Real rap is coming back, and that mumble, that mumble stuff is going to be gone, okay? The Migos, they not going to last out there, okay? And when Kendrick Lamar comes back, it's over. When Kendrick Lamar drop, when Nicki drop, when Drake drop, nobody's going to be caring about mumble rap, okay? It's going to be real rap coming back. Okay, and the mumble stuff got to go to the back, okay? And we all know the, the Migos, they're not lasting. I don't know why they decided to put out 26 versions of Culture 3. It didn't make sense. But like I said before, publicity for everything. And not only that, even if Jessica who is trying to get clout, she's not lying, Okay, she probably did hear that from somebody because there are probably a lot of people who knew about this situation and just didn't say anything. Now, her bringing it up now is definitely clout, but nobody's going to buy her music anyway. Okay, Jessica, who needs to go back to Hoosville, okay, and go back to love and hip hop because nobody cares about your music career. Okay, nobody's going to buy that single. Thank you for just, you know, confirming everything we already knew, though. Moving on to Cardi, if I did a, a meeting with an executive and he automatically talking about me being somebody's competition, that would have been a red flag, okay? But you don't care because all you cared about was charting, which is also in the article about you only caring about radio play and charting. Anyway... If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Have a great day.